But partnership, actually, I'm not going to dwell on this, and I've got a handout on this as well. Many different forms, lots of different things. Um, it can be quite specific, it can be short term, and other forms are much longer term as well. Um, again, if you use your values, that's a glue that can bring the partnership together, even though it can seem quite disparate at first glance. I remember the first exercise we did today, you know, we all found a common positive. So there's something that joins us all. Um, we also found 60 different problems um, originally, but it's a case of, of looking at it. So partnering, and this is on the, um, the handout, I just ask you to pass those around. I'm not going to dwell on it because on the handout we can take it back with us, but people, purpose and practice. It's about an alignment of, of, of those, really. And it's about understanding what we bring, um, so who are the people that are going to be involved, what's the experience, what the purpose, you know, what's our vision, goals, objectives, how we're going to measure it, and the practice. The systems, the procedures, you know, what works for one partnership doesn't work for another. And I think you were expressing that earlier, about some of the, you know, depending on what hat you're wearing when you walk in, there's different perceptions of reality and different practices that you would have to do in one setting. Um, there's also partnering in action, which uh, they call these six A's, the alignment of purpose, adaptability, an attitude of mutual trust and respect, and purity of uh, communication, attention to process and ability to perform. And when I'm looking at managing relationships as a sort of, uh, you know, if, if that's the title I was given, a lot of the stuff I talked about this morning sort of is summed up within that. Um, and, and what I would say to you is, this is just a model. This is someone's interpretation. And what I'm delivering is just my interpretation of the brief I was given. And um, it's up to you to, to find something that works for you. And remember as well, what works for you now might not always be the thing that works for you. Because as we change our beliefs, you know, we open ourselves up to new possibilities as well. 